fight with uh, Tony Bonuk is finally on. Yeah, yeah, I am. It's, it's a rivalry that's been building up over the years, and it's finally here. So uh, yeah, I'm happy. Happy. Um, I suppose you know it's, it's just a big grudge, really. Um, obviously, at the at the press conference, that's where it really kicked off, and and this is where the fight is made from that press conference, I would say. And um, it was obviously before the fight, um, Brain had pulled out, and I was you know he caught me at a bad time. Really, I was making the weight. Brain had pulled out, and then Bellew came in and, and, and started you know mouthing off. So. Yeah, but we obviously got an angry reaction, and uh, it's, it's set up this fight. But it's, it's all good. Um, well, we have to find out on fight night with that. You know, he, he, he's obviously stated that, and uh, the only place to, to really prove it is in, is in the actual fight. It's so easy speaking and, and talking, and it's easy for me to, to sit here and. And, and say things like that, but I'm prepared to go in on fight night and really show it. And, and really, you know, I'm prepared to go into the Lions Den. Um, I'm prepared to go into his hometown and and, and beat him there. So you know, at, at the end of the day, it's a boxing ring, and uh, the, the true champion will come out on top. Much of his, much has been made of his punching power as well. How, how do you rate that? Yeah, he's obviously dangerous. He's got a reputation as a dangerous puncher, so we've got to be wary of that. But at the end of the day, um, regardless of, of what Tony Bellew brings to the table, I'm going in and, and fighting my own fight. Um, obviously, there's, there's uh, question marks over how many risks I take, because I do take a lot of risks. But that's what I enjoy doing that. I think the fans enjoy watching me fight because of that. I'm not changing, so this is going to be a good fight. Does he have the power to knock you out? No, definitely not. Definitely not. You know, I've, my chin have been tried and tested by bigger punches than Bellew. I'm sure of that. And I've, I've never, you know, touched where I've never been uh, shaken up. So I, I can't see anything changing for this fight. Frank Warren as well saying today that there's a potentially a big fight on the line for the winner, Chad Dawson or Bernard Hopkins. That's obviously exciting as well. Yeah, yeah, that's really exciting. There's a massive prize at the end of this fight, provided I win and, and, and win in, in good fashion. It sets up a, you know, a really special fight for with a with a legend like like Hopkins, provided he comes through with with Chad Dawson. So that would be a, that would be a, a major event um, in this country, and uh, yeah, you know, that, that's that's a dream for me. And we're seven weeks out to, to fight. Like, what does the next kind of two months entail for you in terms of trading and sparring partners? It's it, from now on, um, just head on the game, uh, fully focused. Um, and and ready. Just that's all I got in mind now is is is, is this fight. Um, and yeah, 100% focus and, and training well, and uh, ready to remain, remain world champion basically. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Jimmy.